Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all color and size, this is Jake from the Stoplight Spoilers, where two friends go watch a film, break it down, and give our opinions. Join us this week for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, where you only get one chance to save the galaxy twice. And Star-Lord, he gets a zoom. The following podcast contains spoilers, plot points, and everything else you don't want to hear before watching the movie. Listener discretion is advised. There he is. Look at that. It's led by the Holy Spirit. Define. There you go. It's by the littlest tree. <laughs> <laughs> I love Good call out, babe. <laughs> it is the smallest tree in the lot. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. I yeah, I still think this one's smaller. Yeah, I think it is. I parted by a twig. <laughs> <laughs> you I parted Groot. by Baby Groot. Baby Groot. <laughs> I thought it was iconic. Okay, well. I liked the. Okay, I just had to say, I really like the fact that you came and seen a movie that you hadn't seen previously with us. It makes me happy. I knew, I knew it would mean a lot to you. I am grouped. <laughs> I hear that. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> he's one. Uh, he's one cool dude, or whatever. <laughs> he, he's like, is he cool? Yeah, he's one cool dude. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Uh, he died. That's sad. That's sad. But the other guy takes his place, I guess. I like that they're an incinerator of rainbows. Yeah, they're flame and nice? flame. I this love it. This would beautiful to see in IMAX 3D. They're flame and flame. But I'm glad that I talked to, um, what's his face, because he gave me the blowdown about Adam. Well, I'd like to have got to chat with Matt, but he was like, I'm out. Please tell Girl Scout. I just forgot. I forgot about it, but it's a... It's a oh, I'm it's about to call him on Bluetooth. I mean, end it on the car sharing. We're going to talk to Matt. Okay. Get his input. <laughs> he really liked it, actually. I'm sure he did. But he's, it, it's, 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 he said it's like an evil Superman. I do have to go get my kid. Okay, I have to go. One eternity later. I definitely... I'm definitely uh, torn on this movie. I don't really know what to give it. Really? Yeah. Wow, oh, it's a triple truck. That's cool to see. You don't I, see it very often. It's I really, only legal in certain states. Yeah. Well, I see doubles often, but triples, interesting. Um, I really lean towards a red light. No, I'm just kidding. More like a yellow light. Huh. I'm definitely a green light. Well, the reason why I say that is because... The first one just made you laugh only. You didn't really have moments really much of crying, except for the very beginning. This movie just made me want to cry during the whole daggone movie. All right, so it's not really a lot. But I love the movie. Um, started just a smidge rocky for me because of living up to the hype of the first one. To me, it felt like it was uh, really trying. But then all of a sudden, it just kind of just... expectations, like... It could have been. Like, because I, I didn't, I, I felt like it, then it, then it just kind of smoothed out all the, because like, I just, I watched the first one yesterday. I did. And the amount of one-liners in this one versus the first one, it felt like it was like four or five times. Oh, it had to have been increased for sure. And so for me, that I guess kind of is a try hard. Thing. Yeah. And so that was a little bit of a put off. But other than that part of having the sense that, well, we really have to live up to an expectation of the first film, that's the only, if any, if you could even label it a qualm that I would even have with the film. Yeah. Was in it, but it, it just kind of, it's subtle. It, it, it got a lot more subtle as the film progressed. And I, I it got more caught up in what was happening versus what the humor they were trying to force. Yeah. But that was that was literally the only thing. Otherwise, really, the movie is superb. The first one was great. Watching it yesterday was good. I felt um, I don't want to try to go straight to the end, but I felt the introduction of his father was kind of comedic. Yeah. Like, what, how did they just all explode? And then, I mean, what the heck? And then all of a sudden, his dad's on a spaceship surfing like Silver Surfer. Interesting, but uh, I, I thought that was pretty good. I really enjoyed the opening credits. I thought they were really fun. The fight scene with Groot dancing. Yes, yes. 
I thought that was really entertaining. I, I really did enjoy the movie. I would for sure give it a green light to go ahead and watch it. Absolutely. In theater. I think all people should watch it in the movie theater. I, I'd even consider it like re-watching the same film in the movie theater again. Like, especially in the case of, let's say I had someone that said, hey, you want to watch this movie with me? I'm not going to say no. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I enjoyed it that much. It would be very entertaining. It would be fun to kind of pick up on some of the things I maybe missed the first time. Because, there, I mean, for sure there's going to be some bits that I missed, you know. I did a really horrible job with notes today. You did. You got too caught up in the movie, which is a great <laughs> testament to the film itself. Yeah. You got through maybe a third of the movie with a very few notes, and then all of a sudden just quit taking notes and enjoyed the film, which... Again, I think is a great testament to how enjoyable and entertaining the film actually was. You know? Yes. And a lot of times it's something that's just... Because it's this type of movie, I don't have a lot of, like, outlandish things to call out because it's... We're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. We're not talking. Speaking of outlandish things to call out, I will call out the one that we talked about during the movie... When the ship crash lands, and it would have oh, yeah. a, it would have a superb amount of deceleration taking place as it's hitting trees and in ground. One could argue it actually has a change in acceleration. <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. Um. Basically, because. Homeboy was acting like an anchor hitting, bouncing off of trees and stuff. <laughs> right. And I was like, okay, that was just a little bit... It was comedic. And the chick was holding it the whole time. Correct, holding it. It was comedic, but a little bit outlandish. Once it starts hitting some trees, a nurse is going to take over for the guy in the back. Yeah, they should have just flown into the ship very quickly. Yeah. But... With her holding on to the thing, it is Gamora. She is very strong. However, the friction of her shoes on the ship while holding him is not that strong. That's kind of how... She also had another one of those physics issues when she picked up the gun and just started shooting her sister in the ship. The gun had no recoil? Yeah, like... It, it's possible that there's some sort of amazing... Maybe. Yeah. Internal recoil suppression. I don't know. It, it, it's real. That was just a funny, goofy moments like that. But that's just trying to find something funny. Yeah. About the movie. Would you watch it again? I wouldn't need to see it in theaters again. But I can't think of a movie that I'd want to really watch in theaters again. Like, unless it was something that was coming back out, like a like Dirty Dancing in the theater. Yeah, I'd watch that. Okay. I, I just, enough. it's too soon right, to, for me to watch again right away. Fair I'd probably, enough. even if it was coming out for like the uh, award thing when they do those, I could consider rewatching it in theaters then. But okay. I wouldn't back to back that. But I can't think of a movie I would, so I, it's no fault to the movie. I really like Baby Groot. Baby Groot is kind of funny. I really have to um, point out that. Disney and the studios that are in charge of the animations for this film they're it's insane their abilities because take Rocket for example yeah he looks yeah phenomenal. I never thought he was an animation he just seemed like a character the whole yeah, time yeah it was I really, really I never really double good. thought that I they just... even stepped it up quite significantly from the first film I felt yeah especially in this film he didn't get wet there was a scene where he got completely saturated with water in the first film, and it just looked kind of fake. But, I mean, it's a hard thing to do, wet fur, you know? Yeah. But in this one, it was just, it was stepped up even further to me as far as the animation was concerned. And then the amount of special effects for Kurt Russell were just phenomenal when he met his mom, you know? Yes, it was, it was quite amazing. Because it was flawless, because when they did, um, I can't think of the actor's name, but when it was in Tron, Tron was a good movie, but when they did the 
the villain in that film that made him look young, it was it wasn't flawless. This one to me looked flawless. But I felt Kurt Russell's character just looked phenomenal. I like his character name of Ego. It's very fitting. That did kind of make sense. He's egocentric. It's all about him. Were you surprised by the uh, Sylvester Stallone? I did not know Sylvester Stallone was going to be in the film, so it was quite... Uh, huh. I was only not surprised because in the opening credits I caught his name. Gotcha. So I was like, hey, he's going to show up eventually. I did... Um, we're not really have much of a structure tonight. No. But I did I, thoroughly enjoy that Yondu was able to gain a sense of redemption. Right, I really... What is he from? I had meant to look that up while actually we were watching the movie. But his character... What is he? Because he plays the same character in a different movie. Like, just the same type of person. I don't know. I mean, he was Yondu in the first film. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. It was the exact same guy. I'm going to look at it. I mean, it was the same exact character in the first film. What movie am I And then he was about? equally bad A. Like, he had uh, the moment where he was surrounded by the necro, whatever guys they were called. Is it possible that I'm really just flashing back to the actual... Oh, it's very possible. I think it is. And so he had a... Moment. Oh, no, it's it's walk, or Walking Dead. That's what it is. Is he in that film? Yeah. Oh. Or is show, it, rather? Yeah. Speaking of shows that I've considered picking back up and actually completing, that is one of them. I, it's it's pretty solid. I haven't watched the latest season, but that's because not on Netflix yet. But it's a good show. I would watch it. I'd watch it from the beginning with you if you wanted. I really enjoyed the creation aspect. I thought it was real fun, but not at the expense of current life you know and uh, I will admit that I was completely caught off guard that he's like it just it destroyed me to have to plant that tumor oh I know I was like spoiler alert there what yeah that's definitely he had to plant the tumor just so he wouldn't go see her again like ugh yeah. I know. It's like he was completely narcissistic, you know, narcissistic, you know, because he's so full of himself. But there was something that was causing him to lose sight, and it was her. Yeah. And so for him, his way of dealing was it was, well, I'll just put a tumor in her brain so she will die, and I would no longer have to be concerned with that feeling. And was like, are you serious? Caught me off guard completely. I was like, oh. Teresa was like, oh. I have to take a brief interruption for an IMDb factor. Top, in the top four of the build cast is Vin Diesel with his baby group voice. He's the fourth one for top build. Oh. It's very interesting. <laughs> There's a lot of big name people in this film. And that's kind of like a smack in the face. It went from uh, Peter Quill, Gamora, Drax, and Baby Groot. Rock goes even under him. How in the world? Just so they can say Vin Diesel's in it. I don't... How in the how in the world could you possibly Yon Doo's under that? Like... Get that much money for absolutely nothing. Yeah, the same three words. Just said in a little bit different fashion. You are not that awesome, Vin Diesel. I'm just saying. And hearing this stat actually makes me not like you a little bit. Just saying. Oh, this is interesting. They have a young ego facial reference. And he's a build person on here. Interesting. So what they did is they used someone that was kind of like a Kurt Russell lookalike? I guess. And then digitally oh. enhanced it from there, I think. So it, Oh, that's oh, clever. That'd be neat to actually see that process. Like they did a Fast and Furious. Except his brother. I really don't have anything specific to cover about the film. I just really felt that it was just superb. And there was a lot of humor in it. And I really liked Mary I, there Poppins. Was a, it was Mary, very Mary funny. Poppins. And the first one was all about Kevin Bacon as far as stuff. And this one was like David Hasselhoff. And I was just... This is this is hilarious. A lot of these references. I really hope they they keep it this going because 
Well, the movie did say yeah, that Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy will return. return. So, you know, that's coming. But and they had all the things at the end. Yeah, they're also just doing phenomenally with the Marvel Universe right now, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. And because of that, and they've really got a lot of momentum going. So, they'd really have to start messing up everything just horrifically for it to be a failure. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to add, just because I got really involved. And it's really hard, like, I think it's almost harder to talk about a good movie than it is a bad movie. It is because we... Or even a mediocre movie. There's nothing to pick apart about it. Like, yeah. It just I think, functions. I think giving myself an opportunity to watch it the second time, I may have a lot more to say. Yeah. Because then I would be able to pay attention and not be blindsided by the fun of the movie to catch... You know, things that maybe didn't happen. Yeah. But I... Oh, one thing I did... I want to kind of touch on is Rocket was using this device to repair the ship. I think it was stinking awesome. Oh, I did that. Awesome. put that in my nose. I actually compared that... What's the character's name in Wreck-It Ralph, the Fix-It guy? Fix-It... Fix-It Sam? Fix Don't it. get me lying. I only watched that movie once and wasn't very impressed. Oh, man. Um. Anyway, he had a hammer that fixed stuff, and it just reminded me of that. He just went around hitting stuff to fix it. I've had a lot of people talk to me about Wreck-It Ralph lately and how much they've enjoyed it. So I'm considering, like, re-watching it and see if I like it better. I think you should. It's an, I think it's tolerable, at least. I think I'd give it at least a yellow light. <laughs> Definitely didn't get a red light from me. Um, well, I do think it was kind of silly when they started playing catch. Oh, God. I was, was like, their please don't do it. Their relationship really cheesy. I was like, please don't do it. Not that far. Please don't do it. And they went as cheese as you possibly. Oh, daddy, you're playing catch with me? Yes. Like, I thought it was, considering how egotistical he is, I mean, I get that he wanted his son there, but he only really wanted his son there to achieve his goal, not because he cared about his son, yeah, obviously. what a jerk. And so... So Why would you bodies, want to play catch with them anyway? Those are all the like the failed spawns of him, right? Of ego. That was all of his his him spreading his seed. Yes, his failed spawns. Correct. Yeah. All of his other children that made it there, they were unable to channel the energy, and so he killed them. Ridiculous. That is very ridiculous. I don't really get it. I mean, I get it. Yeah. Because it worked with his character, but what a jerk. I also really like their space suits. Space suits that they just put it on their back and it's like a bubble wrap situation. Oh. I mean, there's a lot. I'm kind of rethinking about it because there was a lot of dynamic in this film that set the stage for a, a good a good stage, really, for multiple progressions of story in the future. Like, especially, say, between Nebula and Gamora. I had died didn't expect that in any way to see any sort of positive relationship come out of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not like a fully mended relationship by any means. But I in no way that I think it was even close to being possible to see a positive relationship come out of it, you know? Yeah. And then uh, with Yondu and Rocket, they had a nice intimate moment. Kind of yes. brought Rocket down just a little bit. Yes. So Yondu was like, dude, you're me, man. I get it. Don't. There's a lot of character development. Don't screw up I, the same stuff I've screwed they up. They did a good job with that, too, just character development. Because a lot of movies we've seen lately are just going through the motions, but they just don't develop characters. Well, the first one gave us enough, but then, you know, overall had a good goal. Like Because you still got to find out where Drax was from. You got a tiny amount of I really where, like Drax, where Rockets was. But in this movie... I, you said you liked him. I, I kind of was a little bit put off by Drax because he wasn't quite that funny in the first movie. So I don't know where all this I don't know. fantastic humor has come from unless maybe you could say it's been because of hanging out with them. That said, there hasn't been that much time between the last film and this one because Groot is still super tiny. Yeah. So he hasn't really been around him that long. And now, you know, in credits, we got Teenage Groot. Those little emo hairdo and all that jazz. And his attitude. It was funny. I am Groot. Well, did you hear the little puberty slip, too? 
Oh, I didn't catch that. It was like, I am groomed. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, just all of a sudden hit a puberty. A little. All right, Trace, what's your final review? Red light, green light, yellow light. And not that order, because that doesn't make sense. What does the green light mean? Go see it. Oh, then yeah, green light. Okay. Yellow light means it's, it's cautionary. You know, go into it knowing that you may go either way. And then red light is, is don't waste your money at the cinema. Oh. And I, it would be really hard for me to ever say don't watch a movie. No, don't, I, don't watch it in the cinema. I could definitely say that. Absolutely. To, to not. But life, it gets close to approaching that realm of films that I would say just don't waste your time seeing the film. And I'm so open about stuff. I that, did. that is just one of them that I just can't. I thought of a closing remark for this while we were in the theaters. That uh, definitely a green light if you are a step parent and <laughs> take your stepchild to this movie. It's a perfect movie to mend a relationship if you don't connect with your stepchild. Very interesting. Let's do one more thing. Can you pull up um, what is the message of this film real quick? Sure. Do you have anything you'd like to add? Then? Kids in mind, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. No. I'm falling asleep. Kids in mind, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Maybe we won't. I don't. I don't know. It's okay. Well, I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I want to watch it again. And there is a bunny rabbit in your yard. But I need to go get my kiddo. Alright. So till next time. Green light. What do we want? I think King Arthur is gonna be next week. See you. Da, 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 da. Thanks so much, ladies and gents, for tuning in to Stoplight Spoilers. I really appreciate you taking that moment of your life and giving it to me, which you will never get back. But next time we will be spoiling yet another movie for your pleasure. And that will be King Arthur, The Legend of the Sword. Where the sword is pulled from the stone yet again. And my co-host Isaiah, he told me that I forgot to plug Facebook and Instagram. So here you go. Check us out over on Facebook and Instagram at Spotlight Spoilers. Spotlight or Spotlight? <laughs> I can't believe that's becoming a thing. Oh my god, it's going to be an issue. I realize this part. Ignore me. Um. 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 Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Um. 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 <laughs> Butt sex. <laughs>